Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillahi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzubillahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa may yudlil fala hadiya lahu. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lahu wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Dear brother and sister in Islam, I'm your brother in Islam Hussein Yi Al Qadim from Malaysia. Alhamdulillah. All praise due to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala who have given us guidance, who have bestowed upon us all the rizqi, the bounties. And insha'Allah, may Allah make our family a happy family. Now, today we are going to share with you uh, about Izza. About where is our Izza? Or maybe you are not familiar with this term Izza. But when you talk about Izza, I'm going to share with you what Allah talk about Izza. Not what I say, but what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about Izza. If you open the Holy Quran, Surah Ali Imran, Surah Ali Imran, eh? verses from 26, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah remind us about what is Izza. قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْقِ تُؤْتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِئُ مُلْكَ مِنْ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُ izza man tasha wa tuzilla man tasha bi yadika al khairu innaka ala kulli shay'in qadir the meaning of this ayah allah is telling us he is saying to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi so that the prophet will convey it to us say o oh, prophet muhammad to all mankind that means he want the prophet muhammad to inform all of us قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْقِ That Allah is the king of all kings. He is the owner, the creator. Everything belongs to him. All the kingdom belongs to him. None of us own anything. We are just trustees of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. تُؤْتِ الْمُلْقَ مَنْ Allah said, He gave kingdom authority to whomever he please. What tanzi'ul mulka mi man tasha. And he will take it back from whoever he like. Now Allah is telling us that we don't have anything. We have no power. We have no kingdom. We have no authority. But it's he who give it to us. Allah has shown us the Muslim the Prophet, they have nothing when they are in Makkah. But because they are faithful to Allah, do what Allah wants them to do, Allah gives them victory after victory. From minority, they become majority. From nobody, they become somebody. Why? It's because when Allah gives them power, authority, they do not misuse the authority. They use whatever authority they have to please Allah, to serve Allah, to uphold the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Allah keep on yeah, blessing them with the kingdom that Allah has given them. For one solid, one solid thousand years of Muslim was in power because they uphold the teaching of Allah that is in this book, Al-Quran. But what happened today, a lot of Muslims who Allah give you the authority, who give you the kingdom, you misuse the authority. When you misuse the authority of Allah, that Allah entrusts you, there will come a time Allah will take it back. This is the thing that we are worried. We do not want this thing to happen to our Muslim leader. We want Allah to bless them. We want Allah to guide them. We want Allah to help them but if they do not help themselves the little authority that Allah have given us we misuse the authority we tend to make things that Allah said haram into halal in the time of the prophet and the companion all prophet was sent by Allah to do what 
not to fight for a kingdom, but to spread the word of Allah. But Alhamdulillah, at the end of the day, Allah gives them the kingdom. Allah give, make them become leaders because they are just leaders. They are fair leaders to the extent that people who do not believe in Islam prefer to live under the guidance of the Muslim ruler because they know that the Muslim ruler are very fair and just to everybody because they don't misuse their power. They say, Allah, bless them more and more. The Iza come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not from people, not even from the nation, but it's from Allah. To'izzu man wa tuzillu man Allah said, I will give honor. Izza means honor. Respect for those who uphold the sharia of Allah, the religion of Allah, the truth, justice, this is very important. Now, there's nothing for us to lose as Muslim leader. If you follow what Allah wants you to do and the way the Prophet wants you to do, inshallah, Allah will make people love you. Because when you try to do something to please Allah, when Allah loves you, Allah will open the heart of everybody to love you. And there's nothing for you to fear that you will lose power one day. Because as long as you survive, insha'Allah, you will have the power. You will be the leader. But if you want to please human, you try to do what human want you to do, what people like you to do, even to go against Allah, Allah warn you. What Allah say? What to zillu man tasha? When you do not uphold the teaching of Islam, and you are trying to please human more than Allah now, Allah said, I will humiliate you. Allah said, what to zillu man tasha? He humiliate whoever he please. Why? Because you have proved to Allah you fail to be his khalifa, to be his leader. Allah is the one who gives us the power. You forget it. You thought that the power was given from somebody, even in the election, you see the people vote you, but it's Allah who let this happen. You must remember what the Prophet always say to us. If something happened at the end of the day, you must say, Qadr Allah wa ma sha'afan. Allah the more powerful, the most powerful, do whatever He like, whatever He please. Now Allah is the one at the end of the day who decide who will be the leader, who is the winner. But when you got the authority, Try to use your authority and power to please Allah. And if you uphold the teaching of Islam, you will never regret. There's nothing for you to fear. Even after you die, people will still love and honor you. People love and honor and give you izza while you are alive. And so you get the izza after you die. Like what the prophets and the companion have received from Allah. From none. They become somebody, from nobody become somebody. From having no authority, they become the, the caretaker of the Haramain until Rome and Persia fall to the Muslim hand, into the Muslim hand, because the Muslim uphold justice. Now, remember, all brothers and sisters, is the honor, yeah, come from Allah. If you honor Allah's Sharia, Allah's rule, Allah will honor you. When Allah honor you, nobody can humiliate you. But if Allah humiliate you, who can honor you? Wherever you go, people will talk bad about you. People will humiliate you. People look down upon you. Look at our Prophet. He's the best example. Even when this verse was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, some of Allah Salam, in his time, there are people who are very envy, especially the Jew in Medina. They say, look at this man, he's crazy. He don't even have anything. He don't even own Medina yet. Now he's talking about Rome and Persia because Allah showed to the Prophet that all this kingdom will fall into the hand of the Muslim because Allah know that the coming Khalifa 
especially Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, he is going to expand yeah, the kingdom of Allah on this earth. He is going to Persia, going to Rome, and it's true. History has proven that in the time of Omar, these two great kingdoms, the superpower at the time, fall in the hand of the Muslim Khalifa. And all the people are so happy that they are under the Muslim ruler because they know the Muslim Khalifa is a very just and fair Khalifa. So, fellow brother and sister in Islam, always remember, Izzah belongs to Allah. Now, when you talk about authority, you are not talking about a country only, but it also go back to a household. In the house, who have the authority? The husband. So if you want the children, your wife, to honor, to respect you, not only when you are alive, even after you die, you make sure that you respect and honor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying what Allah wants you to do and follow the way of the Prophet. Then inshallah, you never regret. Your friend, your family will respect you highly and honor you even you are no more with them. This area is an area that a lot of Muslims are not aware of. When Allah gives you some authority, suddenly you forget that this comes from Allah. You thought that, no, 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 it's my own doing. No, it's not your own doing. You try being a human, but it's Allah who granted you. So when Allah gives it to you, be thankful to Him. How will you show you the thanks to Allah? by making use of the authority to please him, not to please human. Insha'Allah, we will see you again after the short break and I hope that you'll be with us, insha'Allah. Wa billahi tawfiqi wa la'akhri da'wana wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh Welcome back to our program. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters in Islam, I'm your brother in Islam, Hussein Yi Al Khadim from Malaysia. Now, in the early discussion, we have been talking about where is our izza? That means where is our honor? You know, where do we stand now? Where the Prophet and the companions of the Prophet, they all have the izza. Not only the Isa when they were alive, until today, we don't even live in their time. We do not know who is Prophet Muhammad. We do not know who is Abu Bakr, Omar, Osman, or Ali. Of course, we know through the history, but we honor and respect them so highly. And all the Muslims in the world who believe in Allah and the Prophet will love Prophet Muhammad more than they love themselves. They will love the companions like they have known the companion uh, so long. Why? Because the izza that Allah has given them. Because whatever they do, they do to please Allah. Whatever authority they have, they use their authority to please Allah, not to please human. By pleasing Allah, you will have the izza. When you have the izza, Allah will bless you. Whatever authority He gives it to you, He will make sure that you will stay in authority until the time for you to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, when you do something for Allah, there's nothing for you to fear, nothing for you to worry. Because you don't have any hidden agenda, you're here to please Allah, you just act as a khalifa to Allah fil ar. As a servant of Allah, you're here to serve the people, to serve the nation. But if you do not please Allah, and you want to find izza from otherwhere else, you can do that. But at the end of the day, you know what's going to happen to you. There are so many leaders who yeah, have failed, and at the end of the day, nobody remembers them. Nobody wants to even talk about them. Even they are dead. They are six feet yeah, under now. Still, people talk about them. They are not talking a good thing about them. They are talking how bad they are. No, we don't want this kind of thing to happen to our leader. We love our leader. We are not here to encourage anybody yeah, to do anything against our leader. If you find our leader is not so good, please help them, advise them, or at least pray for them. Because we are not supposed to look into every weak point of a person and you start to come and bang on them and pass judgment on them because nobody is perfect. Either we or other people, nobody is perfect. So we try our best to help each other. 
But what I'm trying to say here, we hope that everybody who was given by Allah the little authority or power, please make use of the power to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make use of the authority to uphold justice. Insha'Allah, if you do it in the right way, just to please Allah, you will never regret and Allah will never fail us. What is important in our life at the end of the day? Because sooner or later, whether you are rich or poor, you have authority or not, whether you're a leader or you're just a normal citizen, we are going to die. And who is that to reward whatever we do? Only Allah. So if you do it to please Allah, Allah, one, He gives you izzah, and one, He loves you, He honors you, He is not going to love you and honor you only in this world. Like what the Prophet and the companion, even they, have, they are dead now, for thousands over years, everybody talk good about them. We talk so great about Abu Bakr, Omar, Osman, Ali. Why? Because Allah gives them izzah. Because they do for the sake of Allah, they please Allah, they fear nobody except Allah. Now Allah is happy with them. Every Muslim know about them. Every Muslim study about their history. But you look into the other leaders. Do we talk about them after some time? We forget about them. We don't even want to recall them. So I personally call upon all fellow brothers, sisters in Islam, wherever you are. Whoever you are, if you are given an authority, a trust from Allah, make sure you use the authority to please Allah so that you receive the izza from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, if all of us try our level best to please Allah, to serve Him, to try our best to do what Allah wants us to do, I promise you, brother, it's not uh, me, myself, promise. I promise you with the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah is going to love us. And I shall will try my best to promote peace and also to encourage fellow Muslims to honor and respect and help the Muslim leader wherever they are. Because there is our duty as Muslim scholar, as Muslim, talib ilm, the student of knowledge, to promote peace and to teach people to help all the Muslims who are in authority, but not to destroy them, to help them and build up a strong nation. Because this is very important. Because if we are not doing that, we will fail our leader. It's like what happened in the time of Ali radiallahu anhu. Some of the people came to him and said and complained, Ya Ali, why there's so much problem in your time under your leadership? And why you don't have that kind of problem in the time of Abu Bakr, Omar, or Osman? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Ali a lot of wisdom. One of the wisdom, Ali said, لِكُلِّ maqal maqam wa لِكُلِّ maqam maqal Every place there is a word and every word there is a place to apply. Now this guy said to Ali like, no, he is not a good leader. Then Ali answered, you know why in the time of Abu Bakr or Omar and Osman, the leadership was so good because the people at that time is like me, who is very obedient, very loyal, and very patient to the leader. I'm always there to help them. Not to judge them, not to criticize them, not to sabotage them. But in my time, there's so much problem. Because the people in my time is just like you, the one who questioned Sayyidina Ali Karamallah Wajah. Now what do you learn from this? Of course we do not deny that from time to time we also have a lot of bad yeah, followers. People who are not loyal to us, people who like to betray us, sabotage us. But now who can protect us from all this kind of problem? It's only Allah. So if all of us go back to Allah and try to gain the izzah back from Allah, then there's nothing to worry. If people try to destroy us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us. Even if Allah will allow it to happen, Allah knows best. But at the end of the day, people will remember the goodness of our leadership.
people will appreciate it. People will miss us. And people will remember us in his prayer. This is what we are asking from all the brothers and sisters to try their best, yeah? to do what you must do as a Muslim ummah. If you are not a leader, then you must try to help your leader. If you are a leader, we hope that you also don't forget to learn from the people below you. You must remember, you are not there without the people here, without the people below you. Who appoint you to be a leader? Is the people. But while you are up there, don't forget the people who is down here, who have appointed you, have supported you. So this is very important. It's like the Sahaba and the Prophet, you see. Even their leader, Khalifa, great Khalifa, you see how they live, how humble they are. Sometimes at night, they will travel by themselves with some helper to watch you know, what is happening in the community, to see whether there is problem, there is trouble or not. They themselves take the initiative yeah, to move around at night, to survey the environment. But of course, it's not easy for leaders today to do that. I don't think we are that humble enough or we have the courage to do that. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, He's not just going to bless you alone. He is going to bless your family, your parents, your children, all will be blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then even you are not with them anymore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send good people to be close to them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to send people who will love them like how you love them and will also take care of them. Now that is the special nikmat from Allah. Like what Allah said, La in shakartum la azidan nakum. Whenever you are thankful to what Allah has given you, the authority, the leadership, and you try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah is going to add more nikmat and more blessing you know, upon you. So there's nothing for you to lose. Please, and we will never forget to pray for our Muslim leader. May Allah strengthen their iman and may Allah open their heart and may Allah guide them so that they will guide us with the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, not following their desire and not following what people want them to do. But may Allah make our leader who fear Allah, who love Allah and who always will try their best to uphold the Islamic law that belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amin ya rabbil alamin wa billahi tawfiqi wal akhra da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh